Good evening, this is Luis, 24 years old. This is Imelda, 60 years old. And this is Jose, 23 years old. In the Summer Olympics, professionals such as Michael Phelps and Alex Nador had these bruise-like images on their body. What are these bruise-like images? Well, they are a result of cupping. Cupping was originated in Chinese and Arab medicine, what used as a traditional medicine, and it leaves this red, dark, purple circle behind, which shows an imbalance within the body. It is uh, totally painless, and it, it just indicates that your body needs to be worked with, that something is happening inside. So there are different technical ways used within this method, which can be used by a glass, a silicone, a plastic, and a bamboo cup. There's also different powers that can be used within the method, which are light, medium, strong, pulsatile, and according to an article published in the Journal of Acupuncture by Abu Shab and Hassan, state cupping can be broken down in technical ways such as dry, wet, massage, and flesh. It could also be done by using fire, manual, and automatic. To further explain this, a light suction would just be doing the cup on its own, just pressing it on the skin. In a medium suction, you would apply the, the cup and press it down slightly. In a strong suction, you could turn the cup inside out and place it on the skin. And this was the main one I saw done while I did my internship at Crit USA. The physical therapist would perform this on many of the patients. For a pulsatile suction, you could go from a light to a medium suction, or you could also turn it inside out and range it to a medium suction and then a light suction. And the dry method would be just having the cup on its own. In a wet suction, you could use essential oils to provide kind of a vacuum assistance like thing and you would provide um, that incisions within the body. You can also use fire with it to make it more powerful. In a massage setting, you would just move the cup along the body. And in a flash setting, it is all about the timing. By manual and automatic, in a manual way, you could would be using the strong suction. So you would be turning it inside out and that's what manual means. In automatic, of course, it would just be the cup by itself. So some of its benefits, according to an article on pediatricohysiotherapy.in, which is affiliated with Physio Mantra, states dry cupping helps stretch and release muscle and soft tissue. It does this by relieving the tension in one area. So as you're using the massage cupping, you are spreading out that pain. Now, endorphins also are released within this method. What are endorphins? Endorphins are a hormone which provide an analgesic effect. An analgesic effect, all it means, it, it reduces pain, it stops the pain from within the body. Now, the blood circulation is increased when the suction causes capillaries to become dilated, according to an article on ncaaom.org, affiliated to NCAAOM, written by Bill Reddy. And in the following slide, we have the contraindications. So you wouldn't place on veins or arteries, you wouldn't place on wounds, and you wouldn't place on cancer patients. You wouldn't place on veins or arteries because it already provides a harsh reaction as it is. So you are already seeing that dark red purple circle and now placing it on an area of rich blood supply would just make the process worse. And you wouldn't place on wounds because then you're affecting the coagulation process. So you're not letting it heal properly. The platelets wouldn't have enough time to stick together. And you wouldn't place on cancer patients, according to the Journal of Acupuncture, because there is still a lack of information regarding its safety. Throughout this presentation, we went over the several application methods, its benefits, and its contraindications. And this presentation was done to inform others to not be afraid of what the appearance of this method. So there are ways of how to treat it, how to make it better, and of course, as we saw, its benefits. So I hope y'all enjoyed my presentation.